There are three guarantees in life. Death, taxes, and that sealed Pokemon TCG products increase in value over time. Now this video is by no means meant to be financial advice in any way, but rather me simply sharing some observations I have made over the years. We are currently amidst a very exciting time in Pokemon, and it is the transition from one generation to the next. As the Sword and Shield era comes to a close, the Scarlet and Violet era slowly begins. This transition phase happens once every three years, and it's when the new main series games are released, and the final sets of the previous generation are released as well. This time period then comes to a close with the release of the base set of the new generation, which officially marks the end of the previous era and the beginning of the next. In years past, the final set of each generation becomes very valuable over time. Now I know one could make the argument that most Pokemon sets become more valuable over time, but the final set of a generation takes this to a completely different level. Some examples of these sets include Neo Destiny, Diamond and Pearl Stormfront, Black and White Legendary Treasures, X and Y Evolutions, and Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. All of these sets were the final of their generation and contain some phenomenal cards. The Pokemon Pokemon Company has always seemed to go all in on the final set of each generation, which is why they become so valuable over time. Although currently, the transition from Sword and Shield to Scarlet and Violet is a bit different. The final set to be released for the Sword and Shield era is Crown Zenith, which is set to release on January 20th, 2023. The Japanese version of this set, V-Star Universe, has already been released, and to say it is insane is an understatement. I will most definitely be getting my hands on a ton of products from this set once it is released for a couple of main reasons. It has tons of cards I really like, it has some phenomenal chase cards, it is the final set of one of my favorite generations of Pokemon, and will most definitely be a very desirable and sought after set in the future. But what makes this transition different than most is the two sets released prior to Crown Zenith, those being Silver Tempest and Lost Origin. Both of these sets also have some really cool cards, some phenomenal chase cards, and have already seen an increase in value. Now, it is not uncommon for the second to last set to be very valuable as well. Look at Hidden Fates, for example, from the Sun and Moon era. But to have the third to last, second to last, and final set all to show signs of becoming very valuable over time is practically unheard of. Now there obviously is no guarantee that all three of these sets will become super valuable over time. Based on previous years, Crown Zenith is the only one you can say will do so for sure. But I believe both Silver Tempest and Lost Origin will be in the same boat for one main reason. That being the chase card and main theme of both of these sets. In Lost Origin, the main Pokemon is Garatina, and the main chase card is the alternate art Garatina. Garatina is one of the most popular Pokemon of all time, and the alternate art Garatina card is already going for hundreds of dollars ungraded. While in Silver Tempest, the main Pokemon is Lugia, and the main chase card is the alternate art Lugia. And once again, Lugia is one of the most popular Pokemon of all time, and the alternate art Lugia card is also already going for hundreds of dollars ungraded. I believe because of the current status of these Garatina and Lugia cards, it is safe to say these sets will most definitely become very sought after over time. Then on top of all of this, you have the Scarlet and Violet base set. As of right now, we do not know all of the cards which will be in this set, but it is pretty much a guarantee that the base set of each generation will become very valuable over time. Just look at the original base set from 1999, Neo Genesis, EX Ruby and Sapphire, Diamond and Pearl, and I could go on and on. Now, a common misconception a lot of people have is that sealed products from these sets will be worth thousands of dollars in just a couple of months, which is not the case at all. Yes, it is pretty much a guarantee that sealed Pokemon TCG products will increase in value over time, 
but it takes years for that to actually happen. If you want to see a significant increase in value on those sealed products, you have to wait at least until two generations later to even begin to see those crazy prices everyone talks about. And once again, this is not meant to be any sort of financial advice, but me simply displaying some observations I have made. And based on the current time period and status of the Pokemon sets available right now, one could make the argument that this is one of the best times of all time to buy sealed Pokemon TCG products. Even if you are not buying these products to keep sealed and you want to open everything up, this is still one of the best times to do so because of the abundance of amazing products that have the chance of containing some of those phenomenal chase cards previously mentioned. And that is all for the video today. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on all of the crazy sets out right now and the ones that are soon to be released. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and this is the Polka Playa signing out.